When it comes to Japanese robots, one cannot overlook the technological marvel created in the land of the rising sun. Japanese engineers managed to bring to life the dream of all fans of Japanese anime by constructing the gigantic Gundam robot, standing at a height of 25 meters. The design and dimensions of the Gundam robot completely match how the character appeared in the animated series of 1979. Technically, it is not a robot but a mobile suit, a kind of mechanized humanoid weapon that requires a pilot to operate. Nonetheless, it became a real celebration for anime enthusiasts and Japanese pop culture fans in Odaiba, or the Fukuoka district. The concept of the robot was inspired by a character from an anime series released in 1979, the Gundam model robot. The robot itself stands in a special dock, which also serves as an observation deck. Adjacent to it is an exhibition hall where visitors can learn about the process of creating the moving robot and its internal structure. But the most unique aspect of this robot is that despite its size, it can kneel down on one knee and even move its fingers. It's worth noting that the robot weighs 25 tons, indicating the titanic effort of Japanese engineers who achieved a technological breakthrough by making such a massive machine move. It took six years to create the robot, Japanese company Roids Tech unveiled its new three-wheeled mobility platform Raptor. The main feature of this product is that the car body is divided into two parts, the upper part, design unit, and the lower part, base unit, which can be separated or combined. It features 12-inch front tires and 10-inch rear tires, allowing for free slalom turns with three-wheel contact. The 48-volt battery powers the device, enabling it to reach a cruising speed of 30 km per hour and maintain continuous operation for a range of 40 kilometers. It is classified as a motor-assisted bicycle, requiring a driver's license. Its unique feature is the proprietary connecting unit mechanism, which allows the design unit on top and the base unit on the bottom of the vehicle to be easily separated and combined. By producing design units according to specifications, new mobility options can be created. For example, by placing a sensor-equipped robot on the top unit, it can also be used as an autonomous moving robot. Roids Tech believes that the Raptor will create new businesses and cultures and bring fundamental changes and growth to the world of mobility infrastructure. Toshiba Machine has announced the launch of two new collaborative robots at the International Robot Exhibition, IREX, the world's leading robotics event held in Tokyo, Japan, at the Tokyo Big Sight venue. The new collaborative robots, including humanoid and SCARA versions, are the first of their kind from the Japanese manufacturer. Previously, Toshiba Machine prioritized the production of industrial robot models such as Six Axis, Skara, and Cartesian robots. The humanoid collaborative robot from Toshiba Machine was demonstrated at IREX in live parts assembly. With a maximum payload of up to 6 kilograms per arm, or 10 kilograms in combination, the humanoid collaborative robot was designed to meet the demand for human-machine collaboration in assembly and part inspection processes. The Skara model, also a collaborative one, expands Toshiba Machine's established expertise in manufacturing traditional SCARA robots. At IREX, the demonstration of the SCARA showcased how a collaborative robot can be used in the processing and packaging of electronic components, a task typically performed using high-precision industrial machines. With two arms, the SCARA robot is suitable for fast processing applications. As collaborative robots, both models can be deployed alongside human workers, allowing manufacturers to benefit from a combination of automated and manual processes. The collaborative robots will be available with the latest robotic vision systems. The Japanese company Tsubami has completed work on the operational prototype of its rideable robot Arcax, as reported on its website. Engineers at the company were inspired by science fiction movies and wanted to give everyone the opportunity to feel like they're in the future today, by controlling such an unusual robot not remotely, but from within, as in the movies Avatar or Pacific Rim, where combat machines with pilots fought against giant monsters from another world. The Arcax robot is a manned boarding machine, fully controlled by a human. Although it looks futuristic, it is essentially a combination of a forklift with manipulators and a moving transformable platform. Arcax looks impressive. It stands at 4.5 meters tall and weighs 3.5 thousand kilograms. The length and width of the machine resemble that of a small urban truck. Arcax's distinctive features include functional manipulator arms and the ability to transform its wheeled platform. For faster and more stable driving, the robot sits down and its wheelbase becomes elongated. The company's engineers will continue to improve their robot and plan to release it for sale soon.
Japanese engineers never cease to amaze. In late 2023, they unveiled a four-legged rideable robot the size of a car. Sansei Technologies, a company known for manufacturing amusement rides and stage equipment, introduced a unique creation, a four-legged robot called SR02. Standing approximately 1.9 meters tall, 1.6 meters wide, and 3.4 meters long, this robot boasts a futuristic design with a cabin capable of accommodating four passengers. A distinctive feature of the SR02 is its four knee joints bent backward, allowing it to perform various movements. It can walk forward and backward, make 360-degree turns in place, and tilt its body in different directions. To facilitate passenger boarding and disembarking, the robot can crouch, fully bending all four legs at the knees. The software used for the SR02 is the Azratec v Saito robot control system, allowing a person or an external operator to control the robot on board. Although human-piloted walking robots are a common theme in science fiction, this real-life creation from Sansei Technologies is a rarity. Typically, such robots exist as singular units and are used exclusively in the entertainment industry for amusement parks, exhibitions, and shows. Among them are popular humanoid combat robots that occasionally participate in entertaining duels. Unlike them, the SR-02 is focused on peaceful movement and passenger transport, marking a significant step forward in the development of walking robots for practical applications. This is one of the most famous Japanese robots, Asimo from Honda. The Japanese manufacturer has been working on this project since 2000. And since then, several versions of the robot have been introduced to the world. We will focus on the latest version. Initially, the robot was created to assist the elderly and people with limited mobility. However, with the development of artificial intelligence, the scope of the robot's application has significantly expanded. Nowadays, the company also offers it as a robot secretary. It can greet guests, escort them to the necessary office or room, serve drinks, and so on. Externally, the humanoid robot Asimo resembles a short person in a spacesuit. It stands 1.3 meters tall and weighs just over 50 kilograms. This height is not accidental. It allows a seated person to comfortably communicate with the robot, and the robot itself to efficiently assist those who cannot get out of bed or are sitting in a wheelchair. Additionally, thanks to its small stature, lightweight, and the use of durable materials in its construction, the robot will sustain minimal damage if it falls. However, it only falls if it is deliberately pushed with force. If the robot stumbles or experiences a moderate push, the system will keep it standing. Thanks to numerous servo motors, Asimo's movements are very smooth, just like a human's. It can walk at a speed of about 3 km per hour, run at a speed of 7 km per hour, walk backward, climb and descend stairs, play ball, squat, hop on one leg, and dance. This robot can shake hands, make a rocker gesture, and even open bottles and pour water. Asimo has five fingers, and it handles them perfectly. He is sociable and strives to help people. Its brain promptly processes information from cameras, microphones, and other sensors, allowing it to navigate its surroundings excellently, distinguishing between static and moving objects. During a conversation, the robot's cameras track the face of the speaker. If you move while talking, the robot will turn to follow you. And here is one of the most famous humanoid robots from Toyota, the THR3. It stands at one and a half meters tall, weighing 75 kilograms. It has 32 degrees of freedom and 10 fingers on its hands. Moreover, this system is capable of replicating all of the operator's movements. All of this became possible due to the creation of what the developers called the Master Maneuvering System. The company says that the THR3 belongs to the third generation of its automatic systems. It was developed in the laboratories of the Partner Robot Division. According to the company, THR3 is capable of assisting humans both at home and in places like hospitals, offices, and construction sites. It can also perform a range of operations, not the most complex ones, in places hazardous to humans. The robot's joints bend in the same way as a human's. As soon as the operator makes a movement with their arm or leg, the robot replicates the same movement. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.